Hey guys, this is uh, Tyler here from Deck GFX, and today we got us a tutorial on how to make a logo. So uh, you're going to do 500 pixels by 500 pixels, and hit OK. Alright, the first thing you're going to do get your paint bucket tool. I'm gonna drop a black background. Then you're gonna get the ellipse tool. And this might do something funky at first. Yep, it did. Sorry, but it, it should pop up for you guys just like that. Well, that was a god awful circle. Oh yeah, here I, I'll. Just, okay, I don't know. Okay, uh, now what you're going to do is you're just going to hit, uh, depending on what you're using, on a Mac, it's Command T, on a Windows, it's Control T, and you're just going to make your circle more uh, aligned, you're just going to check it off, and what you're going to do, you're going to right click, go to your blending options, and then outer and inner glow, you're going to turn on. Uh, make sure that one's checked and this is on edge. Um, for outer glow, you can do any color you want. We'll do a nice bright blue. That'll look kind of cool. Um, Alright. Then for your outer glow, you want to have your opacity to about 75. Then the size at about 35. And inner glow, you want it at about 30. And opacity at 75. Okay, then you're going to right click on it in. Hit duplicate layer. You just make logo copy. Alright, then you're going to hit command or control T. And you're going to shrink the circle down a bit. Alright, then you're going to use your arrow keys to align it as good as you can to the middle of the circle. And right there looks about right. Now you're going to right click on it, go to your blending options. For Oh wait, this is where it's going to start to get a little bit trickier. For outer glow, you're going to put an opacity to 100 and bring your size down to about 15, 16, about like that. But now for inner glow, the first thing you're gonna do is put sources right here to center. And then you're gonna select the gradient tool. Now what you're gonna do is change this color. You're gonna click it, and you're gonna click on the color and make it a light gray. And you're gonna click on this one and you're going to make it a uh, darker gray. And you hit OK, and it should look like that. Okay. Um, so now, you're going to make your text box. This, this in my opinion, looks the best um, with just the first letter of like your channel name or whatever. Um, but I'm going to be doing this for somebody. So, uh, yeah, and you just, uh, the font, or not the font, but like the size doesn't really matter at the moment because I'll show you guys what we'll to do. You'll hit Command or Control T again, and you can just bring it back down, and then it's easier just to resize it, going like that. And I think it actually looks pretty sick if you rotate it like that. Um, yeah. So then you're gonna go to your shape one, and you're gonna hit, uh, where is it, uh, copy layer style. Then you're gonna go to your text, and you're gonna hit paste layer style. So it's gonna look like that. But then you're gonna wanna go to your blending options again, and you're gonna put the outer glow, um, uh, just a little bit less. Same with your inner glow but less so it looks more like that okay um actually 
I'm gonna just move this down a little bit. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna make a new layer. And, um, you're gonna go right here to the elliptical mark beat tool. And you're just gonna draw a little oval. You're gonna, you're gonna go to your gradient tool. Make sure it's going from black to white. The first one selected. And yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go out three fourths down, draw your line to the bottom, just like that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're clicked on this layer. You're gonna go uh, change it to screen, and you're gonna change the opacity to like 45, about something like that. Um, then what you're gonna do is hit Control or Command T. And you're just going to rotate it to fit up on this part of the circle, if you kind of understand. So feel like that, and to get the, this little crap out, and just go like that. And yeah, uh, to save it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go to Save As, and save it as Logo to whatever uh, save it as a JPEG just do uh, save it as 12 so that's all you do thanks for watching this video guys